One of my favorite pieces of equipment on the honey farm right now is this Finley wax melter that I picked up. It does a beautiful job melting out the wax. What we do is we run the spinner and we continuously all day shovel the wax cappings from underneath the spinner into the Finlay wax melter. We have this unit set at, I think it's 92 degrees, and we have it cooking all day. We're not worried about the melter honey. We just pour the melter honey down the drain because there's not a lot of honey that actually comes out of the spinner. The cappings are pretty dry. There's still a bit of honey in there, but for the most part, it's not enough to slow down production. So this thing cooks all day, all night. Every morning, Carrie taps out some wax, just like this. And we usually pull about two blocks out like this every morning. So it's an extremely efficient unit. And because we pull it out every morning, the, the wax is nice and light. It's not burnt at all. It sits at 92 degrees, gets poured out in the morning, and it's just beautiful wax. After about one week's worth, we're about a third full of slum. What we're going to do today, being Saturday, is I'm going to empty out the drum of the spinner into the wax melter and do the final melt. Here we are finishing off the week just by scraping out the drum. We like to refresh the drum every week, basically because of granulation. Could you find some granulation? Oh. Oh. This honey, there's some granulation here. The spinning, I guess the act of spinning really increases the, uh, quickens the, the granulation of the canola honey. And it's not a big deal other than within the drum here, the granulation occurs on the outside of the drum and then down into the port here. So when the granulation covers, fills in that baffle, the honey doesn't flow as freely. It doesn't, when the honey enters the drum at the top, the granulation will kind of slow down the progression of the honey down. And then the baffle at the bottom, if it's plugged by granulation, it doesn't empty out of the drum as quickly. But as you can see, the, the spinner has been doing a great job this last week. This, we run it for a week, clean it out every Sunday. Today is Saturday, but this is about an inch. Some granulation on the bottom. So it's the next morning and Carrie has poured the wax out of the melter. So now we are ready to press out the slum. We're going to fill the unit up with water past this side drain. And we're going to use the screen and we're going to press the slum down into the water bath. stainless steel screen and what this does is pushes the slum down into the water bath and we'll cook the slum overnight and we 
we've pressed out the slum last night. So the, the slum is sitting in water and this screen is holding that slum down in that water and all night it's cooked out the wax and wax floats up on top. Carrie is done tapping the wax off. So we tap the wax off out of this valve, which catches that top layer of wax. This is it here. So now what we've done is we've turned off the unit and it's gonna slowly cool. We'll come back from the yards after pulling honey and we'll peel that wax off. We'll drain out the water, shovel out the slum, and then it should be ready to go for tomorrow. Okay, we're back, it's three hours. And the wax hasn't hardened yet. Just wanted to point that out. This, this unit is extremely efficient. It holds its heat extremely well. I ran into this before. I guess we're gonna have to quicken this up with you know, pouring cold water inside just to harden that wax so we don't have all bloody day. There we go, here we go. The wax is hardened. And this will go into the next batch. This will go into the next batch, which we will melt down and salvage. So there will be virtually no wax left in that slum. And there's the dry slum. Process complete.